For Western Mass News exclusive update on a story we've been following in Springfield for months. A house on Bay Street that was reduced to rubble is being cleaned up after lying in a pile for a year and a half. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live from Bay Street getting answers on where that project stands now. Audrey? Neighbors tell me they've been waiting for this property to be cleaned up ever since 1459 Bay Street was first demolished back in August of 2018. But in that time, those neighbors say that the pile has grown from people illegally dumping garbage on it and from infestations of rodents and insects. Now you can see the pile looks more like a pit, very different looking as how it's been in months past. These neighbors tell me they're ready for a clean slate and new development. The only thing I have not gone on is on my knees to beg the city to clean this up for the last year and a half. This resident, who didn't want to show her face on camera, tells Western Mass News she's been waiting for 1459 Bay Street to be cleaned up ever since the home was demolished in August of 2018. The city tore down the house when the chimney began collapsing, throwing bricks into neighboring yards, causing a threat to safety. But because city officials say the property owner was deceased, tracking down family members who would sign over the rights to the plot was a challenge. We finally got through the court process of getting uh, the property in control of a receiver. That took us quite a while. Now a court-appointed receiver has taken control of the property, agreeing to clean up the rubble on a set schedule. There is court agreements on, on when it should be done, but I, I believe their actual target date was to get it cleaned up this week. And Springfield's Building and Code Enforcement Commissioner Steve Desiletz says beautification of the cleaned up plot is required in the springtime. If they don't move to develop it right away, then they'll be required to plant grass and, and smooth it over. Which will be a welcome change, according to neighbors who say they've watched the property become less and less beautiful due to illegal dumping. Then you would see buckets, you would see all sorts of stuff the next day. You would go to bed one night and the next day you would see it. And invasions of rodents and insects. Last summer, the, uh, it, was, it was like a, a, an ant infestation in my kitchen. Desolate says this is the first time the city has used a receivership for a house demolition and claims it will alleviate taxpayers from footing a $25,000 cleanup bill. This is all done at the cost of the receiver, not the taxpayers. In a normal process, we would, this would have been the burden of the taxpayers to pay for this. But with rising property taxes across western Massachusetts, neighbors say they're still seeing their bill increase, something they say is unfair after spending more than a year living next to a pile of rubble. This shouldn't happen, not to somebody who's living right next to the dumps. Again, city officials do expect that all the cinder blocks and the garbage from this property should be cleaned up within one or two weeks. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.